Ladies and gentlemen, you are taking a look for the very first time, I think on YouTube at least, at the CPG one ounce and the CPG half ounce minted silver bar. Hey everyone, it's Joe and Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au, selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> Do you like that? I did, very Thanks. much. Thanks, man. Would you call this a product review? I would call it a product review. All right. Now, we wanted to do this product review because we've actually been selling them for the last maybe week and a half. Yeah, about that. Something like that. And how well have they been selling? Very well. Yes. Like, yeah, very we've well. probably sold about 500 yeah. so far. And we've only been putting up... Uh, this is a recent um, addition. Uh, addition to the uh, to the menu at bullionnow.com.au. And they've we've done zero advertising yeah. before this video and people have just seen oh a minted silver bar for non traditional minted silver bar premium so yeah, much right. much lower they're part of our locally produced range yes correct they are part of the locally produced range in, except they are their own uh, branded product rather yeah. than part of the locally produced one ounce silver or correct. something like yeah. that so they've got their own item on the uh, their own special page on the website so it is you'll see you know cpg one ounce you know silver bar cpg half ounce silver bar something like that on the website but we, we just did want to do a showcase and we do want to compare yeah. them but of course against say like a pamp bar or a perth mint um carded bar something like that just to give yeah. you a comparison to see what you're getting before you order them because yeah, they are slightly different you can yeah. see straight from the out they're um they're in a shrink wrap um cardboard tamp proof case if you like yeah well it's definitely uh, i hesitate to call it a case well you can't call um, it tamper proof um but you call it tamper evident because yeah, not even yeah. the the pamp and the no, perfume bars you're 100 percent right. yeah they call them tamper evident because it's, it's very evident if someone tried to cut into that bar and like the pamp bars and the perfume ones as well yep. you can very very easily tell you can so it's um as you said like shrink wrapped cardboard and so it's yeah it's cardboard it's a, it's, it's a little uh bendy but so are the slightly harder plastic yeah. um Pamp bars and things. So let's show. A, let's do a quick comparison. We will. So we brought in previously arranged. Hey. Um, now Perth Mint um, don't produce a silver minted bar that I'm aware of. That's right. Um, so we've we've brought in their gold one just to give you a comparison because mm -hmm. that's what people are thinking that, um, they're, they're going to be like. If sure. you like, that's their experience prior. Sure. So you can see taking out the fact that they're gold, you can you can see some similarities and some differences. So mm -hmm. the Pamp and the the um, the CPG there, they're both, you know, good quality silver, um, you know, they both test out right. Um, they've all got serial numbers on, yes. so PAMP and CPG serialise their, their bars, yep. whereas Perth Mint, you'll actually see they don't put a serial number on the bar, they actually serialise the, um, the tamper-proof uh, tamper packaging. Evident. Tamper Sorry, evident. the tamper evident. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fair call. Um, so you can see that, that yeah. you know, that's that's a fairly obvious difference there. Sure. So um, much more like the PAMP bar yeah, from than that the perspective. Bar. Yep. Um, the other thing that people will notice, or the other big difference is, and we've mentioned this already, is mm -hmm. this is a cardboard type thing, whereas yep. both the Perth Mint and the, the PAMP are more a, they're more a, a plastic. Yeah, hard, um, a hard, hard and plastic. plastic they're, still bend, thing. they're still bendy, though. They do, but yeah. um, whereas this one, if you bent it, you'd crease it. These ones, you, you really wouldn't crease them. You'd have to really snap into them to, to seriously damage the, um, the Perth Mint or the Pan. Yeah, that's true. Now, something I just would like to note myself, uh, even it actually says it on the back of this bar as well. Sorry, on the front of this bar, on the back of this bar, uh, 999 mm. silver, fine silver, and that also says 999 silver. That doesn't mean it's 99.9% .9 silver because when you test these out on, say, the XRF machine that we have here, it actually tests out as four nines, yeah. not as three nines. So these, this three, it says three nines here, but it's actually four nines. But three nines is the minimum it has to be in order for it to be, I think, was it a London Good Delivery or something like that? Um, LBMA. LBMA yeah. certified, yeah. So it does say... Uh, three nines, but it's actually four nines pure. It's exactly the same as the PAMP. They're, they say three nines, but they're actually four nines. Um, what else do we need to show them? Do you just want to maybe show the back of it again? Yeah, the back. So it's... Yeah, again, just uh, just says their name there. Yeah. The Precious Metals people. Uh, right there. Yep, cool. And probably the other big advantage that you'll see mm -hmm. is, is a price difference. Yeah, um, that's so, the big advantage. You know, like the PAMP, you're paying... PAMP name, you're paying PAMP, you know, the plastic E30, uh, no, yeah. we don't call it, we're well, TAMPA. TAMPA Evident. Resist, TAMPA Evident. TAMPA Evident. Um, that type of thing. Whereas yeah. the CPG, they're locally produced, they're still very high quality, 
they're still very good, but you're paying just that little bit less for them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say just that little bit, little bit less either. We're talking, yeah, as, as a, we're talking a, a, a few dollars here, yeah. not just like cents. We're talking, we're talking dollars and a few dollars at that. Yeah. And that's why we've been, um, we've, why we've had so many people uh, buying them without even advertising them like this right now. Mm. Um, go ahead. You going to say yeah, something? No, I was just going to point out they're also very good. The same as um, the other two are. They're also very good for superannuation funds because quite often the supers mm. will specify. Uh, that they need to be able to tell the difference between certain bars. Um, okay. It's not a requirement in all super funds, so if your doesn't, don't panic, mm. but some of them do. And because these are serialised, um, you can actually then um, uh, satisfy that requirement. Fantastic. So some now, of the super funds are starting to buy them as well. Now, we've been focusing on the one ounce size here. Let's take a quick look at the half ounce the because half there ounce. is there's one major difference between there is a major difference. the uh, half ounce. So that's the one ounce right there, as you can say. So individually serial numbered. The only difference is the half ounce version doesn't have the individual no. serial number on that. Um, whether or not that's going to change in the future, we have absolutely, well, we don't, we have no idea, but you, you yeah, it, figure it, it won't. won't? It won't. Oh, okay. All right. No yeah, problem. It's a cost thing. Oh, okay. Um, it would increase the cost of the half ounce bar too much. It would make it crazy prices. Fair enough. Now, look, we all know that any half ounce bar, any half ounce silver bar or silver coin, you are paying a higher premium yeah. anyway. It just is what it is, no matter... No matter what. Well, the no manufacturing matter... effort takes the same whether you're producing a half ounce or a one ounce. Yeah. It's just on a one ounce, you've got more metal to spread that cost over. Yep, very true. So, um, but we have actually, we were originally going to sell it, I think it was about a dollar higher per bar. And then we had a bit of a chat about it, you and I, and we're like, let's, mm -hmm. let's drop it by about a buck. So we're actually making less on these mm -hmm. than we are uh, on these. Uh, but so. because we didn't want, we didn't want you to pay you know, like the same price for, say, like a, a half ounce silver mouse coin. Hmm. We didn't want to have to pay the same price for a, you know, a CPG minted bar. Even though it's a minted bar, it comes in the Tampa Evident packaging and all that. It's kind of a bit of an optics thing, really. It's like, oh, why would I pay the same price for, you know, if I could get a half ounce silver lunar mouse? So we dropped it by, it's roughly about, about a buck un underneath the silver mouse uh, cost. And that's at silver mouse half ounce current yeah. prices. That's of 2020. And of course, we know what happens with the half ounce uh, Perth Mint coins as they get older and older yeah, as well. Right. So, and these are always going to be around that kind of you know premium price. So, uh, the, the, they are right now. So, similar thing, just uh, you know the uh, shrink wrapped cardboard CPG Group uh, stuff on the back there, and of course that's your half ounce again. No serial number on that one. And is there anything else they, they need That's to know? It. We're no? all done. All right. And uh, of course, we're offering, at the moment, we're offering bulk discounts by 20 plus, get a certain amount off, by 100 plus, yep. get a certain amount off. And we're getting in a bunch of them because they've been so damn popular. We will continue uh, so to try and get them. We absolutely. For as long as we can, of course. So that is it, gang. If you're watching this, uh, hopefully they're still up on uh, the website for sale. And uh, you know what to do. You have to like, share, subscribe. Head over to bullionnow.com.au. We'll put an, a link to these individual sale pages for the both the one ounce CPG minted silver bar and the half ounce uh, CPG minted silver bar. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. That's it from me. And from me too. We'll speak to you soon. See ya.